my favorite part about the movie is when then P. Diddy actually faced off with Godzilla. Yeah. yeah. When him and Matthew Broderick joined forces. Yeah, yeah. and they combined into one. At the end. Yeah. Mm. Matthew Broderick lures him onto the bridge for a rap battle. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Surprisingly, Diddy. Godzilla lost. Yeah, Diddy just spits hot fire in his face. This is, uh, this is Dangerous Reviews, episode 26. This week we've got Kyle Bottom on the show and uh, my co-host, Sean Werger. As always. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Hey. Thanks, thanks for having me. Thanks for, just, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for uh, deciding to come on. It's I know good. you're a bit unsure. I had a lot of things going on my, like, on my plate. And I know you're a busy guy. Yeah. yeah, didn't know if you had time to watch a quality movie. Yeah. Mm, quality movie uh, called... Godzilla. Not the original, <laughs> which is a quality movie. Yeah, I think yeah. you need to make that clear. Yeah, which this is Godzilla we were watching. 2000, when did this come out? 1998. Oh, wow. Yeah. Before I was born. Where to begin? Eh? <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing it in theaters and thinking it was bad, and then seeing it here, and then being like 10 <laughs> minutes into the film, and being like, yeah, this is bad. You didn't see it in theaters as a young, young oh, person. Yeah. And thinking it wasn't very see, good. See, when I saw it in theaters, I thought it was bad, but not in like. A bad way, like bad isn't cool. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. that's what that kids say that. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. No, yeah. When you when you don't like something and you're 16 years old, chances are, well, uh, you know, some things get better with time, right? Like some things do improve as you age. So you didn't like it when you originally. Saw no, it, when I saw it, I remember like not being a big fan of it. Uh... <laughs> and I also remember them leaving it open to the sequel. Mm. Uh, soundtrack. I think the soundtrack much better than the film itself. I I played that soundtrack. I spun it around like a record. Yeah. Right and around. Around. Yeah. Round and round. I think that's a sign that a movie's not going to be very good is when you know it for its soundtrack. Yeah. When right? Godzilla the album. Yeah. <laughs> so sold more. Sold more. <laughs> like like he, he, he bought the album and was like, wait, what is this? I gotta go check out the movie. Yeah. yeah. That that album actually had a sequel. What about the the fact that they lost Godzilla? Like oh, Godzilla is just not just go once. Yeah. Yeah. Many yeah. times. New York's the big city. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, get lost in the big city, yeah. not from around there. He's just on a tear. He's just ripping shit through the through the streets and everything, yeah, and like destroying buildings. buildings. Yeah, yeah. and it's like we lost him. Yeah. I don't know how yeah. that's possible. Yeah. You know what I heard about Godzilla? What? I heard he's big in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. well, what do they call him there? Gojira. There you yeah. go. Yeah. 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 Him and Tom Waits. Yeah. Mm. They're both huge. Yeah. Over there. Big in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Who would win in a fight? Godzilla or Tom Waits? See, that's something I'd like to see. That's a movie I would watch. They should have got Tom Waits to do the soundtrack. They should have. Yeah. Big in Japan would have been a great song for a Godzilla movie. <laughs> it would make sense. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> too perfect. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why Jamiroquai is on there. <laughs> yeah. Ben Folds 5. Oh. It's like Godzilla's favorite song is he made like a mixtape. Yes. <laughs> oh. Godzilla would never make a mixtape because Godzilla has no uh, love interest. He oh. gets himself pregnant, apparently. Yeah. Which <laughs> was another annoying thing. Why do they keep calling him he even after they established that he was pregnant? At that point, do you not just say, just oh, it's a she. It or it. This also, the movie took a lot to get into it. Yeah. There's a lot of like talking and talking. Although, the intro, the opening credits to this movie... Fantastic. Yeah, with the, <laughs> the bombs going off and, and the lizards. Yeah. I didn't know. Like, like, yeah, I knew you were a comedian, it. but I didn't know you were an impressionist. Because you did a really good impression of uh, the iguana. <laughs> the iguana. Yeah. All right, I'll, get, I'll lay it on you. Okay. So bombs are dropping. Yeah. Boom. Cut to an iguana. <laughs> yeah. That was really That's good, right? Good, yeah. I was confused because I thought, what happened to Kyle? Yeah. Who would invite this? A giant yeah. one. I was scared. I thought it was yeah. one of Godzilla's babies. Yeah. Him. Yeah. yeah. Almost all, had a heart attack. All about the head tilt. Well, thanks, guys. Yeah. For having me on. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. For, thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Tune in next time to Danger House Reviews when we'll have someone else. I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and this guy, not yeah. him. No. Nah. Yeah. Well, maybe. I don't know. Kyle's the new Sean. Uh, do you have anything you want to plug while you're here? Uh, no, I don't. Uh... I don't do much. If uh, uh, people see me doing stand up, if they go to stand up, if they Very don't, funny. if they don't already go to stand up, then uh, this isn't gonna convert them. Shows. Oh, I have a, I have a show coming up that's that's good. All right. Um, Friday the twenty second of September, doing the Olio Festival with Graham Clark and Kyle Kinane and Adam Pateman, which is gonna yeah. be a super fun show. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's something to talk about. Yeah. Cool. So Very check good. that out. Check us out next week, maybe if you want. Uh, shit, there's no, no pressure. Friends. No pressure. Yeah. 
but I'm pressuring you to share this with your friends. I don't know how that goes.